guys, how's it going? We are going to do a little planning in my mini mom life or dashboard layout. So very, very excited to be in here and planning for this week. This week is my daughter's birthday, but I do have a couple of other things that I need to get in here as well. But this planner is gonna be like on point for everything that I need. So first we need to go ahead and number our week. All right, so we're gonna start on Monday the 12th. So let's go ahead and number this week. And I think, I think I'm just gonna stick with the black numbers. So we'll do, I'll put the numbers down. I'll speed this part up so you guys don't have to like sit here and just watch me do this. So BRB. <laughs> hear that I'm losing my voice quickly because I am getting sick <laughs> or I'm already sick one of the two okay so this is my on the go planner this is the week of my daughter's birthday which I will actually go ahead and mark so I will just put birthday on here so this is my daughter's birthday i am very excited <laughs> super excited and yeah she's turning a lot i talked about this in another video and you guys are probably like oh my gosh i already heard you talk about it over it <laughs> but if you're a mom you get it and even if you're not even if you have special little people in your life you totally get it so yeah it's delilah's birthday on saturday very excited for her so Delilah, hope oh, that's not on the line. <laughs> Delilah will say turns 11. There we go, cool. So really I like to just focus on like what I need to get done on these days. So if there's like a kiddo pickup, then I will put that in there. Let's see. So I noticed that there are pickup stickers in here. So I think I'm gonna use those to my advantage. It's also, so I'm also gonna put in Delilah's birthday party. Okay, we have an appointment on Wednesday. Brian and I have an appointment. It's at, it's at 12 usually. Okay, so then I'll just put, because I always have somebody to pick up. So I have pick up and I will just use, maybe I'll put them down here under the numbers and then I'll use like little bullet points for who I have to pick up. So pick up, I don't have anyone to pick up on Wednesday because that is my mom's day to pick up. She likes to have some Grammy time. So pick up, and I've been kind of trying to figure out like if this planner is my favorite. I think I probably could make it work and I am still deciding but a lot of you guys, so I mentioned this in another video and you guys definitely voted on the mini monthly and I'm kind of leaning that way as well. So I don't know, I might Franken plan still. I still have some time to decide. So we will just, we will just see. Okay, so pick up, we'll put one for Delilah, one for Harry on Monday. Then we just have Delilah. Then I have nobody on on Wednesday. Then just Delilah on Thursday. And then Delilah and Harry on Friday. Cool. Okay. All right. So pick up. Okay. So then I also have a payday on Thursday. So I'm gonna mark that I have a payday there. Delilah and I are potentially going out of town on Monday for a couple hours. So I feel like I marked a lot of this in my other planner, which is kind of frustrating, but I think, I think it's okay. Cause this is like what I take with me. So double planning is like kind of inevitable, but I don't know. It's tough. I don't know that this is a system that's gonna work for me. I love the planner, like do not get me wrong. It's so pretty. So that's where we'll be that day. And then we also have dinner with my mom on this Wednesday, busy week. Dinner with mom. And then on Thursday, it is book fair day for Delilah. So we're gonna go, we're gonna run over to her school's book fair. 
So I'm gonna put book fair. And then on Friday, it's gonna be Delilah's class party for her birthday. Okay. And then I, I was gonna use this like mini mom life super book and I don't think I used it really at all yet. I wonder if there's something that I can put up there from this book because I definitely wanted to. Me time goals this week, fitness, don't forget. I wish they had something that said meal planning. That would be the best. It would be the absolute best. I would love that so much. Okay, I think I might do something different over there. I don't know you guys, but it's tough. It's tough to know exactly what should go where. <laughs> there are just so many possibilities, it feels like. Okay, maybe I'll do the don't forget. That's just like an added spot for things. Are really cute. I do like to have some decorative elements and this week calls for don't make me use my mom voice. <laughs> like it definitely just calls for it. It's just one of those weeks where it calls for don't make me use my mom voice or you are going to regret it. You're going to be really sorry. And again, this planner is like pure function. Like that's pretty much what I use this planner for is function, function, and more function. Okay. And then as far as the weekly dashboard, so I have my grocery list in here ready to rock. I'm going to pull this out. So just so I'm aware, we do have our water bill to pay. And just so I'm aware, I'm going to fill in the total later. Okay, so then to buy, I need to I need to pay the party location, party location. And then I need to buy cupcakes or cupcake mix to make them. And I'm going to say plus ingredients cuz like eggs or oil or whatever. What else? Possibly balloons. For the party. I do need to wrap her present. So we'll put wrap presents and I'm all over the place. But this is how I am like when I'm thinking through things. So I guess I'm kind of letting you into like my pre-planning process or like my functional planning process. So wrap presents and then I also need to send reminder texts for the party. So that I guess could go under like calls and stuff. Okay, and then errands. So groceries and possibly Target. And I think that is everything for that. Okay, so that's back in there. Okay, so again, this is not like a super decorative spread, but this is just how how it is on my on the go planner. It doesn't need to look pretty. It just needs to be a brain for me. So there is the dashboard section and here is the weekly section. I suppose I could put another sticker or two down. Let's see for errands. <laughs> this is cute. Left the house today. Sometimes I feel like I don't leave the house <laughs> because I work from home and like, yeah, you know, how things go. <laughs> I totally, I totally lied on this one. So Delilah actually has no school that day. <laughs> so I do not need to pick her up, just Harrison. So no school for Delilah. So I'm going to put that here and then I'm going to do something that I don't see a lot of planner people do. I'm just going to scratch out in my planner because sometimes that's what you gotta do. All right, <laughs> so again, not the prettiest spread, but super functional. So if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up for me. If you're new around here, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below before you leave. If you are one of my current subscribers, thank you so much for all of your love and support. I just wanna give you the biggest internet hug ever. You are the sweetest. I absolutely love you guys. You are the wind beneath my wings. And here is your internet hug for the day. And if you wanna find me on other social sites, you can find me over on Instagram, Twitter, Twitter and Facebook. And by the way, you guys have fun today.